For more than a decade, a Hartford woman grew to accept her limitations. A crash damaged her spinal cord, leaving her paralyzed from the chest down. But as Sam Kramer shows us, a new clinical trial is helping her regain her sense of freedom. Okay? Okay. Inside Kramer Hall at Marquette University, Ashley Dahl teaches a lesson in resilience and the power of potential. I was losing strength in my shoulders. My body was experiencing so much pain. And that pain stemmed from an accident nearly 12 years ago. She was riding in a car merging onto I-41 near Hartford. The semi was coming and the driver tried to get ahead of the semi, but it didn't happen. The crash threw Ashley from the car. She suffered a spinal cord injury and was paralyzed from the chest down. So when her pain worsened a couple months back, her search for answers brought her here, the Neuro Recovery Clinic at Marquette. There's no cure for spinal cord injury yet. Um, and so we're really trying to um, push the envelope on how, how much recovery we can get um, for people with spinal cord injury. Kim Deshant is the clinic director. She offered Ashley more than therapy, enrolling her in a clinical trial for a new device specifically made for spinal cord injuries. It's called the Exostim. It provides stimulation and the um, goal is that it helps to supplement the therapy that we're doing and we want a motor response. They place electrodes over the spot of the injury, then using a tablet, it delivers small pulses to the nerves along the spinal cord, helping motor functions recover, even years after the injury. It's changed my life in the last two months. Over two months, Ashley made two trips a week to the clinic, testing her strength on bottle caps and buttons. The hardest part for me to learn was the things that should be easy are not easy. To chair push-ups. Nice three, four. And more, providing hope and help. After 12 years and kind of just getting into the mundane life of this is my normal. It was like, oh, this does not have to be my normal. I can be better. To prove life can still roll on in the face of paralysis. It's just really a great feeling to know that we can provide that here. In Milwaukee, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. Well, you can see the determination mm -hmm. in her eyes, can't you? You're rooting for her. You can't help yeah, but root absolutely. for her. Marquette is the first location in the country to host the uh, a trial. Still looking for more participants now. Yeah, they hope to wrap it up by next spring. If you would like more information on this particular trial, just come to our website, fox6now.com. Well,